Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to do how to calculate a gradient. Right, when we're doing gradient, we are working with the exact same rules. You're going to mark your x1, y1, your x2, y2, then you're going to substitute and you're going to solve. Right, let us take this line. I want the gradient of the following line. Number one, we're going to mark our x1, y1 and our x2, y2. Now, as I said, it doesn't matter which one you choose as x1, y1, provided the ones are in one bracket and the twos are in one bracket. You must not mix those up. Then we simply substitute what we have. So we've got y2 is negative 3 minus y1 is 3 all over x2 is 1 minus x1 is 8. We have minus 6 over minus 7, which is equal to 6 over 7. So our gradient is 6 over 7. Let us say we change the x1 and x2s. Right, we again marked it. The 2s are now on top, the 1s are at the bottom. Then we're going to say y2, which is 3, minus y1, so it's minus. The negative is coming from the formula, and then a negative is coming from the coordinate. All over 8 minus 1. Now, Minus and minus will give me plus. So at that place, I've got plus. So I've got 3 plus 3, which is 6, all over 8 minus 1, which is 7. What I'm trying to show you is that it doesn't matter how you choose. The golden rule is keep the 1s in one basket, keep the 2s in another basket. Right. Now, with gradients, there's certain rules. If I give you two gradients that are parallel. The rule is m1 is equal to m2. Now how would this help you? If I say prove that line AB is parallel to line CD, then what you got to do is you need to get the gradient of AB and you need to get the gradient of CD. If the gradients are equal, then they are parallel. So using your y2 minus y1, you're going to mark everything first. So we've got x2, y2, x1, y1, x2, y2, x1, y1. Using the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Right, equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Why am I making them equal to each other? I know for them to be parallel, they must be equal to each other. Which means that when I substitute, if after I've simplified them they are equal, then they are parallel. But if they are not equal, they are not parallel. Right, let us start with line AB. So we've got 5 minus minus 1 all over 2 minus minus 8 giving us 6 over 10 which is 3 over 5. Now let's work with CD. We've got 3 minus minus 3 over 4 minus minus 6 giving us 6 over 10 in its simplest form 3 over 5. Now, since they are equal, we can say, therefore, AB is parallel to CD. If they were not equal, then they are not parallel. Now, let's take the following two lines. Now, if I gave you two lines, and I'm telling you, line AB is parallel to line CD. Line AB is parallel to DC. Calculate Y. 
Now, when they tell us that it is parallel, immediately you must write down m1 is equal to m2. So we know the gradients are equal. Now, let us do m1 in the form of y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 because that is the formula for m1 even though we know m1 is equal to m2 we need to convert it to x's and y's which means we take it from an m form to a formula right so we've got y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 and for m2 we've got y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now what is the three general rules? Mark your x and y's. We're going to do it to both the lines because we're going to have two gradients to work with. So we're going to do DC and we're going to do AB. But the method is the same. Mark substitute solve so we marked it now let's substitute for dc so we're going to make m1 dc and we're going to make m2 ab now it doesn't matter how you work it maybe you say ab is equal to dc it doesn't matter as long as i'm maintaining dc and i'm maintaining the points of ab under ab so i'm going to have three minus minus three all over 4 minus minus 6. So here I have 6 over 10. Now let's do AB. AB is 5 minus Y all over 2 minus minus 8. So we have 5 minus Y all over 10. Now, how do we solve for y? After you've substituted, it's simply solve for unknowns. So, I'm going to times by 10. In this case, the other side is also 10. Then we have 6 is equal to 5 minus y. So, y is equal to 5 minus 6, making y equal to minus 1. So, what we need to remember is that if they tell me something is parallel, immediately I must know that M1 is equal to M2. When you're doing analytical geometry, you will see the one thing that keeps on rescuing you is your gradient. Your gradient is your best friend and you can use it in almost all circumstances. It is easier to use gradient than many other concepts. So the first rule we have is if they are parallel, the gradients are equal. But if they are perpendicular, which means they are at 90 degrees, then M1 times M2 is equal to negative 1. If I gave you the following drawing and I told you prove that AB is perpendicular to CD. Now, what I want you to notice is that the line CD and the line BD is not the same. I am not at a midpoint. So when you're doing perpendicular, there is no rule that says it has to be at a midpoint. It simply means that it is at 90 degrees. So we want to prove that this point here is 90 degrees. All right, we're going to start by getting M1. So let M1 be M of AB. We know that's Y2 minus Y1 over x2 minus x1. Right, let's mark your points. Right, so we've got 11 minus 5 all over 7 minus 5, which gives us 6 over 2, which is equal to 3. Now let us get m of cd. Again, you're going to mark your points. Remember, it doesn't matter which one you mark as 1 and 2, as long as 2 is together and 1 is together. So we've got 6 minus 4 all over 2 minus 8, 
giving us 2 over negative 6 which is equal to negative 1 over 3. Now how do we know if they are perpendicular? If I say 3 times minus 1 over 3, I get minus 1. Therefore, it is perpendicular. AB is perpendicular to CD. What you must remember is that when we are proving they are parallel, then we have that M1 is equal to M2. But when we have that they are perpendicular, then we have that M1 times M2 is equal to negative 1. The next thing that works with gradient is collinear. Collinear means random points on the same line. Now for them to be collinear, it means that M1 will equal to M2. Now if we starting with these two points, so let's mark them A and B. We're going to get the gradient of AB. Now we know it's Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Now minus 6 minus minus 4 is plus 4. Minus 6 plus 4 is minus 2 over minus 2 which is equal to 1. Now to get the second gradient you have a choice. You can work with BC or you could even work with AC. It doesn't matter which points you choose as long as you have two gradients on that line. Let us choose BC. So we've already got B as X1 and Y1 so we're going to make C as X2 and Y2. Now let's calculate the gradient of BC. Y2 is minus 5 minus minus 4 over X2 is 3 Y1 is 4 so it's minus 4 which gives us minus 1 over minus 1 which is equal to 1. Now since M of AB is equal to M of BC it is collinear. Right. Collinear works much like parallel lines. The only difference is collinear means the points are on the same line whereas it parallel means the two lines are parallel to each other but they have the same gradient. Thank you for watching.